And that is the whole reason that we're here. I just had someone phone, so I thought I'd continue the video, so I'm gonna have to do part two again. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that the video goes off. I'm so sorry, everybody. So judgment, why are we judging other people? We're not in their skin. We don't even think like them. Everybody needs to be in their own space and time. That's even people you have a close relationship with, like your, your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, you know, and your husband or your wife or your best friend. We're not here to change other people's, you know, journey. If they're gonna make a big massive mistake, then it's up to them. I mean, obviously that's their lesson. You know, like there's a few things going on right now in the world. You know, you've got some people on this side and some people on that side. But maybe the people in those areas, there's something for them to learn from both experiences. Some may be wiser and older souls than others. Some people may be uh, connected to their intuition and, and it's telling them not to do something. And we all are either connected more or disconnected or disconnected more so as you become more connected with self you change you then begin to not judge people you look at the whole situation completely differently from a viewpoint of wow I wouldn't do that but you know it's their choice and love them and give them compassion but most of all love because love brings us together because we are all one we are not separate people separate at all we are oneness together and together we are more powerful than people know so we need to realize that we need to stop judging each other judging does not help us it doesn't help the person you're judging and it doesn't help yourself because there is not love there and acceptance for that person and for who they are and where they're going but you can be there for them even if they fall on their face you say to them well wow, that was an interesting lesson wasn't it what did you learn from that experience don't judge them just be there for them and give them love so we need to stop judging everything that people do, everything that people say, and not thinking that we're always right. I mean, we're so damn righteous that we think we're right all the time. But to have an opinion is a different thing. To say, well, you know, I actually see it this way myself, but you know, I'm happy for your opinion. And it's great that we don't, we're not the same because maybe we can learn something from each other. That's not judging someone. We don't need to be right. And it doesn't even matter if you're wrong, because how are you supposed to learn if you're right all the time? So let's try to remember that. Next time you have decided that you want to be judgy on someone, or sort of go, ho, 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 ho. why would you want to do that? That's stupid. That's their experience. We're all here for a different reason, you know? And I guess the thing that I've learned even with my children and my husband is just to allow them the freedom to learn and live their experience. Because we are trained and developed even in the education system to think we all have to go to university to get a great job. There's so many people who are now starting to derive an income from out of the system, which is the normal system, working nine to five, etc. They have freedom and they have freedom of choice. So we must be careful who we judge because sometimes old systems deteriorate, which is sort of what's happening right now on the planet. Fiat money's deteriorating the system's cracking up. You can see the desperation in countries all over the world. You can see people are distorted, unhappy. They're realizing what's going on. 
and they're waking up to it and they're thinking things aren't really fair. Kazakhstan is a great example. They've just taken their country back, which I applaud them immensely. We are human after all, living a spiritual, you know, our spirit is living a human experience, but we are here to be free. We are here to have our rights, our inalienable rights according to our constitution. And we generally are beautiful, beautiful people and there's enough of everything in the world for everybody. Never forget that the world is abundant, absolutely abundant. Well, I hope this has helped you understand judgment and how we do judge people each and every day. And it's important for us to make time to realize what we're saying and what we're doing and really to take that on board on a daily basis. And don't expect perfection because you're not going to be perfect. Either am I. The best you can do is learn and evolve. As you move into the fifth dimension and as we as humanity evolve into the next amazing place we're going to. If you like my video, please do click like. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really love to share the rest of my videos with you. I've probably got about 86, 87 of them now. And I really love sharing this information with you. And if it can help any of you and you would like to place any comments or you'd like me to talk about any other subjects, and I'll be talking about a lot more about Silent Smile, the book, this year, because it is going to change the way humanity looks at each other. And I so love that, so, so love it. So my healers, you take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy life. And remember, sometimes the simplest things in life are the things that make you the happiest. Love to all. Bye.